there I did this video and then realized I'd forgotten to start the camera but anyway uh, I'll make another attempt good morning uh, my name is Ida and today I thought I'd start uh, with talking a little bit about connecting to place and how to do that because uh, that is something that is really important in my practice and it has been very important to me to feel connection to the place since long long before actually I started identifying as a pagan and as a witch um, it's been important to me since I was a child really uh, so I, I thought that would be nice to talk about and uh, to me here uh, be connecting with place uh, pretty much is the same as connecting with nature because I am very surrounded by nature here uh, and I'm also a very nature oriented person so what I do is I walk around a lot I spend a lot of time outside in nature and I think even if you don't live near, near nature that is a great way to connect to the place where you are just walk around and see what's going on I do that a lot. Uh, I, I also sit and meditate a lot outside. And uh, I pay attention to what's going on there. Uh, I pay attention to which animals I see. I pay attention to which plants grow where. And I pay attention to uh, the weather. And I journal a lot about all kinds of things but that is one of the things that's that goes in my journal like today i saw this or that animal or uh, now the leaves are shifting and uh, i pay attention to the seasonal changes like as i said the leaves are shifting for instance they're not now obviously they're just opening uh, but like oh the other day i had the first cuckoo that goes in my journal I'm waiting for the swallows to arrive uh, that will go in my journal um, I don't know which flowers are in bloom when um, and I also like to bring things home from nature I always na uh, ask permission I don't just assume that it's okay for me to go and you know collect things in nature um, but I do that a fair bit for instance I have this. I think this is a wild boar. I found this uh, near a place where I like to sit and meditate. The, it's probably a pretty young individual because the tusks are really small, or maybe a female. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a wild boar expert, so I wouldn't know. Um, and I really like this because the pig here, where I am. Historically, the pig is actually a rather important animal. It's significant in the Old Norse myths. There are several pigs in those myths. Um, and also, I took an um, archaeology uh, course uh, a few years back. And it, as it turns out, the first farmers here, when people started shifting from being hunter-gatherers to being farmers, the first farmers were basically pig farmers. So the pig was very important to the economy here uh, for presumably a long time, but a long time ago. I don't know what's going on with the lighting right now. Uh, my camera is going a bit crazy. I don't know how to fix it. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Um, I also like to, uh, you know, like pick flowers and uh, I like to forage for food if there is something edible. Um, I like to take it home and eat it. I also dabble with um, herbalism. So if I find a medicinal plant uh, that comes home with me. Um, and I leave offerings. I think that is a really nice way to connect with the place, leave offerings. Uh, and the best thing is if you can ask uh, the spirits of land themselves what they would like. Uh, if you can't do that, uh, then, you know, think a little bit about what they might like. Don't leave little plastic trinkets because plastic is not good for anyone and no one will appreciate that. 
Uh, but also like something like salt, pagans and witches, we like salt, we use salt a lot. Uh, and But it's not necessarily good to leave salt out on the ground because it's harmful for the um, microbes and the plants that grow there to get too much salt. So it might not be the best uh, offering either. Um, but otherwise, you know, whatever feels good. Um, and clean up. Not just after yourself, but bring an extra bag and uh, and pick up whatever uh, garbage you find, if, if it's beer cans or plastic bags or whatever. Take them with you and dispose of them responsibly. It's a good way to show goodwill towards the place. Like It's a way of showing that you care. Um, and I also, personally, I do a lot of like ecstatic work or trance work um, in that I do a lot of communication with the spirits of the place and with the spirits of the animals and plants that are around here. So if you're into that kind of work, that is also a really great way of connecting and getting to know them. I... Yeah, no, I think that is it. It's a pretty short video, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, <laughs> really. So uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you like this and want to see more, please subscribe. Also, if there's anything in particular you want to me to talk about, please let me know. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>